That that young man is a, is a madman. Hey. Could you believe that the man chased me out of his compound with a very sharp cutlass? Honestly, I could see it in his red eyes. If he had caught me, eh, he would have chopped my head off and dismembered my body. That means he did not, <sighs> Chief. That means he did not agree to your settlement. Maka, are you mad? I am telling you that the man chased me out of his compound with a cutlass. You are asking me whether he, he agreed to my agreement or not. Amaka, let me say it in black and white. He refused to agree to any settlement. Chief, I am finished. Oh, they tell my father that costs Onukube not to marry me again. God, Chief. Chief, you have, you have finished me. Chief, I warned you. I warned you, Chief. Mm. Mm. Oh, now you remember. Uh, when, when you were enjoying it, when you were singing my name like a parrot, did you remember that Aunu Kube would eventually uh, marry you? Eh? Now it is my fault. But you have forgotten that you, you, you enjoyed it. Chief, don't shut me up. Chief, don't shut me up. You, you caused all this mess. I want you not to come to my house today, but you, you insisted on coming. Chief, you have to do something. You just have to do something about this. I don't want Aunu Kube to go tell my parents now that, that me and you we are doing something. Don't let him to go tell them about us now. Don't worry. I, I will go and see him again. I will convince him and make sure that he collects the money I want to give to him. Oh, could be take your money. <laughs> Chief, please, please don't make me laugh. How, how do you mean? Chief, Ono Kube will not take your money. We don't have many men of honor in this village and outside anymore. Ono Kube would rather die than to let you bribe him with money. Hey, then I am finished. Amaka, I am finished. That's why I'm saying you should act fast. Because... But Pian also, Chief. But Pian also. You better act fast. I don't want anything to happen to my marriage, Joe. Oh. I must marry Onukube, Chief. Act fast. Go and tell him. Do what, any how you want to do it, I don't care. I don't care how you intend to do it. All I know is, go and act fast. Convince Onukube. Go and act fast.
need your blessing, the blessing that will make me to continue to be the strongest and the most powerful man in the kingdom. That will make me get whatever that is my heart desire. That is what I need. Tonight, tonight I want to serve you in a extraordinary way. I want to serve you. I tell you, if I go for fair, come fair, go for fair. I want to give you your dinner. The dinner of blood. The dinner of blood. Send me your eggs so that I can proceed to service the night. Send me your eggs. 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 Leave me to the one that I have chosen to fear upon tonight. Let me to the ones that have blood. Shall fall upon your plate. Let me. Let me. Let me. Uh, go home. You know, I don't want your husband to get to know that you are not at home. Hmm. You no, know, I don't want his trouble. That drunk. He comes home completely drunk. Even if I didn't sleep in the house tonight, he wouldn't notice you. Ha! <laughs> Serious? No. No, don't worry. His drunkenness is of my own gain. <laughs> Hope we will see tomorrow or day after tomorrow. What do you think? Hmm. For sure. Why not? As long as you keep giving me money, I'm always yours. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will do. I will do as you said. Yeah. Right, take care of yourself. Bye bye. Bye bye. I wash your memory. I wash your memory. You will never remember what happened here tonight. Never in your life. Oh. Loma, why didn't you come to my house to see me instead of standing out here? No, 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 no. See, I want to tell you something. Let's discuss it here. I wouldn't want anybody to overhear us. What is the matter again? It looks like you've been crying all day. Is it about, about your mom's health? See, Noye, I think I know who poisoned my family. I think I know who killed my father and my brother and snatched away joy from my family. 
Not again. Not again. Ha! The last time you talked about this, you suspended Chief Oliver. Even though the old villain knows how he came to your aid, how you and your family when you were poisoned. Who do you want to suspend this time around? Are you done? Yes, I am done. Okay. okay. See, earlier on, I suspected Chief Oliver. But what so many of you don't know in this village is that that man is very evil. He's an evil incarnate. It was only my father that knew who his true personality was before he died. Oh, I have heard all of this over and over again. Come up with something new, please. No, you see, he confessed to me that he poisoned my family and that he regrets that I did not eat from the dinner, that I would have been dead by now. So, how you want me to believe now is that Chief Oliver confessed to you that he is the one that poisoned your family, right? Yes, he confessed to me in his own house. Really? How did he do it? He invited you to his house and has his guards to prepare a special dinner for you and told you how he poisoned your family. Huh? Yes, you have to believe me. You have to believe me because I... And what, Oloma? What? Ha! I am your friend and I will give you a friendly advice. Forget about your past. Forget about your past. Go and do something and move on with your life and stop thinking about what happened six months ago. Oh, yeah. How can I move on with my life when the killer of my father and my brother is walking about on the street freely? How? Huh? Well, you know what you will do now? Go and sleep. I think you need sleep to clear off your head. Clear off your head and move on with your life. Please excuse me. Amaka. If I hear you mention that name again, I will lay a curse on you and your generation. Okay, I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. You don't know what came over me? Yes. Amaka, how could you? Amaka, I gave you everything. I gave you my heart, my life. And the best way you could pay me was to allow a man old enough to be your father to have sex with you in the open like a dog. Look at that. He, con Amaka. he confused and, and deceived me. He made me to lose my senses. I didn't even know when I, I, I opened for him. I didn't know. Please forgive me. You didn't know when you, 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 you lost your mind. He confused you. You didn't know when you opened your legs. It won't happen you again. You are an idiot. A corner. Cheap prostitute. That's what you are. You did not know. Don't worry. I am going to expose what you and that shameless Hugo took him with. What you people, that shameless act to the entire village. I am going to do that. Please don't do it. Don't do it. My father will scheme me alive. He finds out that I had anything to do with Chief Odnaka. Please. Please don't look at you. Come on! Don't hey, near me. Please. If, 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 if you touch me again, eh? let me tell you something. Before the end of the day, eh? before the end of the day, the whole village will hear it. How, how shameful you have been. 
that this girl has brought upon me. Eh? How would I face the world and tell them that my fiancé left me to sleep with an old man? Hey, People would just laugh at me. The whole world would turn me into a caricature. No. But I must find a way to make them pay for causing me such pain. I must. Hello, ma. Sorry I kept you waiting. Uh, uh, I just, I'm already late for a meeting at the station and I have no other option than to hurry and go. That's fine, sir. I'm not going to take much of your time. I just came to tell you something about the poison attack on my family and the death of my father and brother. Uh, I'm sorry about everything. I am really, really sorry. Especially the fact that we've not been able to catch the person who poisoned your family's dinner six months after the event happened. We're trying our best, you know. But one day, one day we are going to catch the person or group of persons that did that. I've caught the person, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, he confessed to me himself. Is that a joke or something? Ah, sir. Why would I joke about something like that? I can never joke about something that changed the course of my life. Something that wiped away joy from my face. Sir, Chief Oliver is the person that poisoned my family. But only managed to take my father and my brother and made my mother blind. Inspector, he told me so himself. Please calm down. Calm down, please. Are you telling me that Chief Oliver told you actually that he's the person who poisoned your family? Yes, sir, he did. Right to my face. Where and when did this thing happen and who were witnesses? Yesterday, sir, in his compound, in presence of his guard, he taunted me. He told me that there is nothing I can do to him and that if I don't give him the land, I will be the next to go. Paloma. Sir. Have you been sleeping well despite this? Yes, sir. I've been sleeping very well. Are you sure? I'm very sure, sir. Are you sure what you just told me about Chief Oliver is not a mere fabrication out of the issues you might have with him? Are you sure? Uh, sir, are you trying to say you don't believe what I'm saying? No, I'm not saying I don't believe you. No. What I'm saying is that you need to go home now and rest. I shall kick off investigations into the allegations you just leveled against Chief Oliver. Right away. Mm -hmm. I'll do that immediately. There are no allegations, sir. He told me that himself. You can ask his guard. He was there. No problem. No problem, Allah. Okay. Trust me when I say I am going to find out the truth in this matter. Hmm? Okay, you can now go. God never sleeps. Chukwadi Garalora. God never sleeps. No, 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 no. God never sleeps. Hey, he's watching you When you're passing through Try as a mate God is there Yes, please ah. Good day, sir uh, Good day, young lady How are you today? I'm fine, I, I, I don't know you uh, I'm not from this village Someone directed me to you when I asked for the best farm worker around, so they mentioned you. Oh, I see. You want me to work for your new family? Yes. I'm from the neighboring village. And 
my father has several plots of land and he needs hands from them. So, the people around there mentioned you. They said you're one of the most hard-working men in this neighborhood. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm not in the right mood to work on any farm for now, please. And maybe I'll advise you to look for someone else, please. Uh. Why? Are you sick or something? I am not sick. I just simply said, my mind is too weak to accommodate me to work on any farm. I never said I'm sick. Okay, okay. What if my father pays you three times of the normal wages of a farm hand? Would that make you change your mind? God, I said no. Did you hear me? Which part of the don't do you not understand? I said no. What is that? What is wrong with the old men of these days? I don't know why they don't want to make their life meaningful to the society. Huh? Anyways, I'm sorry to bother you. Okay? Um, excuse me. Uh, wait, 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 please, 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 please. I, I'm just so sorry for the outburst. I'm I just don't know what, you know, came over me. Just that I've been weighed down, you know, by so many problems in my mind. Please, I'm so sorry for the outburst. Why wouldn't I want to walk? Why? Please, I'm still willing to, to walk if you still hire me. I'm so sorry for the outburst, please. After you. That's why on the mantle we need to run away from this village. Why? Chief, I saw Nukube today and he said he's going to tell everybody, tell the youth and everybody that me and you, he saw us doing something. So? Chief, you're saying so? Do you want the village people to come and catch me and you? Chief, let's run away. Amaka, calm down. Calm down. Onukube is not going to tell anybody. He's not going to do anything. Uh -uh. Huh? Look, let me tell you. If Onukube wanted to tell somebody, he would have done that since yesterday, instead of waiting up till this moment. For him to wait up till this moment, that means he is not going to tell anybody. Chief, you're talking like you're you very, very sure that something will be done and I'm here believing you. Chief, see, let me tell you, if you don't want to run away, then give me the money. I will run away, now, now. Hey, Amaka and money. Amaka, as I, I'm speaking with you now, something is going on somewhere. Onukube is being handled by, I don't want to say, until you see the outcome of what has happened. Chief, are you sure? Amaka, I am sure. You know what? We are going to celebrate our victory at that joint this evening. Chief, I don't believe you. Chief, see, I want to go, go, run away. I want to, Chief, give me the money. Give me the money. Let me use it and run away. If you cannot run away now, nah, I can open the ma. I can run away. Amaka, baby. Are you very oh. sure? Ne, at the shop this evening. Thank you. Let me see. He like cheerful. He like can me hot job. I do we go and. Mba. Eba. Ibe wa. We take go. Ah. Don't worry. We will celebrate the success of what is going on now. Ah. Ah, my baby. Oh. Oh. Poto poto um. Hey. Shake mash. Hey ya. Hey, the power of you. Come here now. No, we are on our way to stream to get some water for our parents. We need to get them quickly. Are you mad? Please, I'll leave us alone. Will you keep quiet? Please, I'll leave us alone. You, know, you keep quiet. You know the person who wants to see you. Please, or do you want to die here and now? We don't want to talk to you or see anyone in your car. Let's just go. We don't want to talk to you. We don't want to talk to you. Where's my Leave them! Leave them! 
They are rats. I just want to see if there's any way I can help them. But they are rats. Not even sensible rats, but senseless rats. Let's go. God never sleeps. Chukwa diga rarora. God never sleeps. No, 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 no. God never sleeps. Hey, he's watching you. We will pass through trials of hate. God is there. He will see you through. Chief, honorable man, eh? I don't know the things you brought from you, but the way that your boys were dropping it on the ground, Ibidim, Ibadam, I can just imagine that they are heavy, heavy things. <laughs> eh? I know you, eh? Honorable man, I'm sure they are all falling. <laughs> hey, God bless you, God bless you. You know what I can do? But is there anything that I do in life? He's touching lives. <laughs> You're a good man. God will continue to bless you and replenish your pocket. It's my ministry. <laughs> chief, chief, chief. Without you, where would we be? Eh? Mother, I know you. Mosra! Killer! What are you doing in my father's compound? Eh? What are you doing in my father's compound? Come on, you want Libras is not but a child. Please don't, don't, don't touch a little child. <laughs> evil man! You are so evil! You are very, very evil! So you have the guts to come to my father's compound after killing my father and my brother and making my mother half blind! You! Shut up! Shut up! You are the one that is evil! Eh? Can you not see all the things that, that, that Chief brought for us? Eh? He's there helping us and you are here calling a good man, an honorable man evil! Watch what you say! He confessed to me today that he killed Titus and Papa and also made you half blind. <sighs> Just like I said, <laughs> there's nothing you're saying here that is making me angry. No, because I know you are nothing but a child. You're a child. Anyway, I just want you to know why I'm here. You can see, I came here to bring some things I believe your mother needs. That's why I brought, I brought all these things because I know she needs them. I even heard that sometimes you go out begging for money to take care of your mother. I say it will never happen. Not when Oliver is alive. It's my ministry. If there's anything I do, I touch lives. Yes. So I cannot see it happen. Oloma, uh, that's why uh, now, now I would like you to have the 30,000 naira. Over my dead body. Huh? Over my dead body, will I or anybody from my home accept anything from Evil man like you. Chief, give it to me, Chief. Mama, don't touch that money, oh. That money is evil. Mama, don't touch it. It's a wicked money. Don't touch it, oh. Please. I'm the one that needs the money. Give it to me. Give it to me. I will keep it. Okay, then I take it. Uh, take the money. Uh hey, -huh, thank you. But at the same time, I don't want you to take it uh, so hot with her. She's a little child. Eh? <laughs> what I'm doing is uh, my calling. <laughs> Just take it with her. Don't, don't do anything. Uh, I'll shout on her. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> chief. 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 Chief Oliver. You're a good man. And your kindness to us shall never go in vain. Hey. As for that land that you've been wanting. Chief. Start planning what you want to do on it. As far as I'm concerned, the land is already yours. Oh, thank you very much. I will surely come back to see you again mm, uh, about the land once i get that land i promise you i'll take you to the united states of america usa chief is america uh, for your eye operation yes american kind of hey hey chief chief oh. chief you bring tears to my eyes oh chief america Chief, may God bless you. Eh? Not those evil people that wanted me to die. Eh? Thank you, Chief. Thank you. May God bless you. Amen. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. He said, make sure I get the money. Hmm? And everything will be yours. Everything you can think of. 
Huh? I'll be on my way now. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you so much. and help hide the things. You'll be there, dying in silence. Dying in silence, a good man that God has said to help you. Eh? This kind of things, did we even have them when your father was here? Be there now, be there. Keep sighing. This small girl, Mabel, that I sent for, she has not come up. You can come and help me and tell me the things that are here. Do you know, what a good man. What a good man. It's not this amount that you told me of. Come over, you carry me around around. This is the land. This is my father's land. Ha. Thank God though, we are now on your father's land. I thought we were never going to reach here. Uh, so, where, where did you say the other people stopped working and where am I supposed to start working?
Somebody help me! Somebody help me! I'm just be right! Somebody help me! Like this. I hope no one has made you angry. Ah, kupu nunchin sinike. Ah, kupu nunchin sinike. Who is it that has made you angry? Huh? Please tell me so I can break that person's head. I just did some exercise. I'm hoping it's saying, Samantha, beat somebody today. Samantha. Be somebody today. Tell me. Huh? Samantha. Uh, yes, my love. Please leave me alone. Ha. I'm in pain. That is not possible. That is not possible. I will not leave you alone. You must tell me who is making you to cry. So I can deal with that person. Huh? Please, no matter what, uh, Samantha remains your friend. Should I tell you who's making me cry? It is very, very important. It's Chief Oliver. Chief Oliver? Wait, I hope that man is not eyeing you. Huh? I know his eyes are almost rubbing everywhere whenever he sees the woman. Let me not try it. Else I will kill him. He wants my late father's land. A piece of land my father swore must never be sold outside the family. Why he doesn't want to leave us alone? After all these pains is what worries me the most. Ah, mm. uh, uh, Olama. You see, today I must show you that I love you with all my heart. I'm going straight to meet Chief Oliver. And I want him to stay away from you. If he thinks he can come here and do anything he likes, let him have everything. For I am here to protect you. Ah! Oh, Please don't go and fight. Don't go and fight anybody. My father of not. Eh? Oh, Please don't fight. He's weak. Who is he, Bolivar? Who is he? Hey! <laughs> Wait a minute. Samantha, where are you going? Huh? When did you write your will and send your death warrant? Huh? How does all Roma expect me? A small rat like me to go up against Chief Oliver. <laughs> Imagine. I was even thinking she would grab me. Uh, persuade me not to go. Eh? Instead. Eh? Please don't go. Don't, don't go. Talking to me like a baby. Because you want me to go there and die. Nowhere. <laughs> now I know that that girl doesn't love me. She doesn't love me at all. And I am not ready to die yet. Huh? Let me go back to my shop and continue my work. I am not ready to die in the house of Chief Oliver. <laughs>
Never sleep, never sleep, never sleep.